What's up, guys? Mr. Schwo here. This is a TDM from the beta. I'm using the sawed off for a change. But uh, did you guys catch that MLG event last night, huh? How about uh, Team Epic kind of surprising everyone, getting a round in on TDM and two rounds on execution? I got to give a shout out to those guys. They played really well, surprisingly well, in my opinion. I didn't even think they'd get a kill, let alone win a couple rounds. But, uh, but yeah, they played uh, the first match was Team Deathmatch on the brand new Trenches, which they've changed. That's a completely different map now. Uh, the cave, the way they put that cave, it switched uh, the spawns. You spawn over where, uh, kind of where I think the shield was, and you have the choice to either go right into that cave and fight over the, which is the now permanent Scorcher. They put a Scorcher down there. Instead of switching Digger and Scorcher over in the power weapon spot in the middle, at the bottom of the hill, they switched it so that a scorch, Scorcher will uh, permanently spawn down in this cave. And the Digger will permanently spawn where it was in the beta. But anyway, the battles in those caves look really, really interesting. There's a, it's a, you get right to the fight. If you're playing Warzone or Execution, this is going to be really cool. You Basically, you go to the left. You're fighting guys already in, for that power weapon in the middle. There's cover on both sides. And plus, you got a flanking opportunity. If you go to Digger and you go up to the hill... You can go right. You can go to the front entrance of that cave, and you can flank your enemies. It, like they've completely changed that map. It's, it's no longer about spawn trapping. It's about picking your route, taking power positions, taking power weapons. Uh, I don't, I don't see the mortar having a a big effect on the map anymore with so many people going down there, unless it's a territories game type. But uh, either way, I think they moved that map in the right direction. But uh. After that, they played Team Deathmatch on Thrash Ball. And what they did with Thrash Ball, which is really cool, they they gave you three options coming out of a spawn. You can either head down another... T you can head up the ramp into the main spot, just like in the beta. Or you can go, uh, let's say, your COG. I believe COG first spawns on the, on the one side. But anyway, you can go... Let's say you go right, and you head right over to the concession area. You'll get taken right to the stairs there. Or if you were to go left, you would go right to grenades, and vice versa for the opposite side. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you can go right over to nades. You can't go right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cat just knocked the microphone. Uh, you can't go right into nades, but you can go right over to that side where you can just go around a wall and you're there. So they've really, they've eliminated the the spawn trapping issue in both thrash ball and trenches entirely. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not going to be an issue at all now. Those maps are. They also open up the concession stand area, so you can get some shooting angles from down low. Uh, one thing I didn't like was that uh. They didn't. They didn't switch the power weapon that gets crushed by the scoreboard. So I still think the high side has, it still has the huge, a huge advantage. And maybe not as much as it was before him, because there, a lot of it's opened up now, and you can you can definitely get down from down below. But it's still going to be the power position of the map. Now, uh, oh, during the King of the Hill, uh, the Insanes took it 2-0. They, uh, the Epic team did show some promise early on in both rounds. But as time went on, the Insane just took it over, and uh, Team Epic didn't really stand much of a chance. Although the I gotta I gotta point out that guy Ramen Noodles on Team Epic. If you guys saw it, that guy was incredibly good, like surprisingly. But anyway, yeah. So the Insane took it 2-0 on a uh, King of the Hill on Thrash Ball. I thought Thrash Ball they would have played a Team Deathmatch on. I thought Old Town they were gonna play King of the Hill, and uh, I thought Trenches would be the execution map. But no, they ended up. Doing none of that, and uh, the final match was was execution on Old Town, and the Insanes took that four two. Uh, I gotta call out uh, I think it was Ramen Noodles from Team Epic won a two v one with the flamethrower. So much for my theory about that thing being underpowered. You can take down two pros with it like that, and then uh, forget it. <laughs> that thing's just fine. But uh, Old Town they didn't change at all, and I'm glad about that. That map was basically designed perfectly. And execution plays really, really fast, based on what we saw yesterday. Other than that, though, I mean, it's just ex you know, it's execution. It's kind of unchanged. They have a uh, the way they have the score tracked in Team Deathmatch. When you lose your spawns, it has the five faces. It always has that for execution, so you don't have to check your scoreboard. You'll always know how many people are still alive on the other team instead of without hitting your scoreboard, which I think is the right move. I'm sure that would uh, piss a lot of people off for a long time. But uh. So yeah, the the, uh, the MLG match was exciting. The crowd, which was a Halo and Call of Duty crowd, just absolutely ate it up, which is which is good news for which is good news for Gears fans. Yeah, the the uh, live crowd enjoyed it. I want to I hope the stream numbers were good because 
you know, the, the competitive side showed it played pretty fast and was really fun to watch. And there was a lot of great moments, some double kills with a digger, some good boom shot kills, some really good team play. I, I think that this will be a really, really good game to have on the circuit, very spectator friendly, and I think people will enjoy it. But uh, there were a couple of announcements that I want to talk about that came out of uh, that came out of this. First off, uh, this <laughs> thank God they, it looks like they took away the downing on the sawed off, or you can still down with the sawed off, but the guy has to have damage. You can't just walk up to somebody with no damage, shoot him from what seems to be a little too far, in my opinion, and down them. That those da those days are over. Unless you're already damaged beforehand, you can no longer be down by the sawed off. This is a very good move by Epic. They're showing that they're really in favor of keeping the game balanced, which is a very good thing. And uh, I think this, the sawed-off isn't going to be affected. It'll still be exactly the same, used the same way, that is. And uh, I just don't see a reason why they why they gave it a down to begin with. But <laughs> whatever. They did the right thing, in my opinion. And uh, that's a, this is a very good thing. I'm very happy about this. And I'm sure a lot of you out there are as well. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, King of the Hill. They've changed it from 170 points to win, and then brought it down to 120. You know, which you know a lot of people complain that King of the Hill matches were too long. And if you look at my longest game plays, are King of the Hill. So I guess there's some validity there. I mean, when you play territories, I think you kind of assume you're going to play a longer match. I think that's part of why you play it. But whatever, not something worth complaining about, in my opinion. If it'll speed the game up, whatever, that's fine. Uh, I'd like to see King of the Hill make an appearance in uh, Major League Gaming if the game comes back on the circuit. And I think Team Deathmatch played out pretty well too. I think those are definitely doable. Team Deathmatch in uh you know in in Halo works great because of the power weapons. So I see no reason why it wouldn't work in in Gears also because of the power weapons. But anyway, uh, the also with King of the Hill, the first hill will always be in a neutral area, which is a very very smart move as well. I really didn't like the fact that you could, uh, you could, you could, uh, like in Blood Drive, you'd see like one team would get it in their grenades, and then the next round it would be their grenades on the other side of the map. That that was stupid. You know, I'm glad they changed that. After the middle, after the spots in the middle, it becomes random. After that, it'll go anywhere. Yeah, that's fine. After after the after the opening, it's pretty even. And uh, one last little uh, interesting tidbit that came out was uh, apparently you could wall bounce past stopping power. Now, I know uh, I know not everyone's into that, but most of the hardcore players love that. Like, I think that's going to be great. Uh, if you know how to wall bounce, you can counter stopping power. That's a big, big deal. Anything that, it, you know, that separates skilled players from not-so-skilled players is a move in the right direction in gaming right now. I think the, ca the casual gamer is catered to way, way too much right now. So... That's a great move, and that's my one death of the game right there. Freaking tag made. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. I want to give a shout-out to Team Epic and the Insanes for putting on a great show last night and the MLG audience for uh, seemingly embracing it. So uh, I'm going to prepare for this hurricane, and uh, if I don't lose power, expect a video tomorrow. Uh, if I do, I'll make it up to you whenever we get power back, and I'll upload whatever videos I was going to upload that day. And uh, you know, I'll upload them all in one day, so you'll get everything that you would have got. And uh, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.